Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, today I thought it would be a good day to talk about the things in my wardrobe that I have not stopped wearing. So it's really easy to be like filming loads of hauls and loads of new in and showing what I've been buying. Um, but I always think that my favourite thing is to talk about the things that you keep wearing and wearing and wearing. Um, because let's be honest, no one's got the budget to wear a new outfit every single day. My favourite thing is to re-wear my wardrobe, which basically just means wearing my clothes. So I really love re-wearing things, styling them up with different pieces, and I love seeing the kind of outfits that I just keep gravitating towards, and the pieces that I find go with so many different items. Now, those are the pieces I want to be investing my money in, those are the pieces I want to be filling my wardrobe with. So I thought I would go through today the things that I have not stopped wearing that are the key pieces in my wardrobe for winter. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start off with is a coat that you will have seen a lot of. Now I featured this in my last video, I have featured this so much on my feed for years and years and years. I bought this like three years ago, no, two years ago from Topshop and they bought it out again and again. Um, literally the exact same coat they have brought out. I don't know if there's any like slight modifications to it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I've seen this coat come back year on year and I am not surprised. It is such a gorgeous coat. It is so, so warm. I wear it all the time when I just want to be really snuggly. I've even worn this skiing actually once and I found that this kept me really warm. I kept getting told by people, don't bring a fashion coat to the Alps, you're gonna be cold. And actually this kept me really, really warm, so it just goes to show how warm a coat is. I really love as well, because it's white, I find that you can wear it with so many different pieces. You can dress it up or dress it down. I've worn this on the weekend with a jumper, some leggings and some trainers. I've also worn it to events with a big sparkly dress, heels, and um, done up to the nines. So you can wear this with absolutely anything, which is one of my favorite things about it. I also love the fact that it's like just one button here. Now, this is gonna sound really stupid, but I don't like doing my coats up, or at least I don't like it being difficult to do a coat up. I often find that I wanna show off the outfit underneath, I want it to be open, but if I am snuggly, I want just a quick, mm, yep, done, warm, coats done up, sorted. And this is the perfect thing, because it's literally just one button here that does up, and you're nice and snuggly and warm. I cannot get enough of this coat. I'm just so in love. Okay, so another coat that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this Topshop coat, which actually is fairly new in my wardrobe. It's only about a month old, but I have not stopped wearing it. And I know for a fact I'm gonna be wearing it year on year for many decades to come. Now this is another Topshop number, um, and this is a kind of like long line camel coat. I haven't owned one like this before. I've got like a trench coat and things like that. But I've never owned just a basic long line camel coat. And oh my God, guys, why did I not own one before now? I have been missing out. This coat goes with so, so much and is so gorgeous. And I have gotten so many compliments on it. I find that whatever I wear it with, I get so many questions about where the coat is from. I had a lady stop me in the street, bless her, and was like, oh my God, where is your coat? And she couldn't believe it when I told her it was Topshop. She was like, no, no, it's not. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm just so in love with it. I really love the pockets. And again, it's got quite a simple button detail. I think there's two buttons. Oh no, just one, just the one button to do up, um, which again, I absolutely love. It's just really, really easy to sling on, do up, keep you snugly warm. Obviously it's not as warm as the white one. So I tend to wear this um, if I'm going into London, if I know I'm gonna be on the tube so that I don't get too sweaty. I wear it like layered up with big jumpers underneath. Um, and I just love it. It's really gorgeous. So this next item, you guys will have seen so, so much on my feed and I'm pretty sure you're bored of it by now, but I don't even care because I'm still obsessed with it and it is this leather pleated skirt from River Island. I have been wearing this non-stop. I'm wearing it with chunky jumpers, I'm wearing it with plain t-shirts, I'm wearing it with high boots, low boots, tights. I'm wearing it with so many different things because it just goes with so many different things. I really love the belt detail. I find that it cinches you in. I often find with skater skirts, 
sometimes they can be a bit unflattering especially if it's like an elastic waist i find that sometimes it just looks a bit stretched you don't have that like detail that pulls you in and gives you like a really cute waist whereas this does do that i think it's the mixture of the the leather pleats and also the belt so it just really pulls you in and is so so flattering on the waist i really love how it looks with so many different outfits as i said i've been wearing it so many different ways i wore it for a night out recently i've worn it for business meetings i've worn it so so much and i know for a fact that this is going to get a lot more wear going into january and february i have never gotten so many dms about a jumper that i've worn on my stories honestly guys when i put this up on my stories a couple of weeks ago you guys flooded my dms like where is that jumper from and i can tell you that it's from stradivarius i am so obsessed i'm going to link it down below it is out of stock i think in a small at the minute which is really really frustrating um but hopefully they'll be bringing it back really soon because it's such a popular jumper i've seen quite a few bloggers with this jumper now and i i'm not surprised like it's gorgeous um so i normally take a medium when it comes to jumpers just because i like the oversized look i like them to be a bit baggier this i took in a small and it's still huge like i think if i'd gone for a medium i could have gotten away with wearing it as a jumper dress it's that big so i would definitely say size down if you're not into the oversized look size down at two sizes if you can but i am just so obsessed so it's a cable knit the softest jumper you have ever felt and you guys know i am not about itchy jumpers not about that life it's 2019 we do not even need to be wearing an itchy jumper and this is just so gorgeous the roll neck is huge so you can like roll it up twice is what i do so that it's like sits nicely if you really like that big roll neck look you can just do it once and literally have it like sitting up to here and it just looks so snugly i'm going to be wearing this all throughout the winter months i've already worn it so much i get so many compliments every time i do another way that i wear it as well is i wear it belted in the middle just so that it cinches my waist in a little bit and doesn't look so oversized that it swamps me i think that's just quite a cute way to wear it and i can't wait to style this up more for winter so another jump hat that you've seen on my feed non-stop is this River Island number. Now it might look a bit plain and basic on the hanger and quite frankly it is a basic but it is not basic <laughs> if that makes any sense um so it is a basic in your wardrobe everyone needs a black jumper a black roll neck jumper if you can everyone needs one in their wardrobe they just go with everything now what i love about this one is it's just got a few little details that i think make it so unique and so different so i don't know if you can see but it has got these little frill sleeves and little frill neckline and again on the edge of the sleeve here and i just think it is so so cute it makes something that could be seen as quite boring and it just adds a bit of interest i love wearing this in an all black outfit because it just looks so chic and classy you guys have seen me styling this up on my feed again obviously this is all stuff that i've been wearing again and again so you guys are loving this jumper i'm loving this jumper we're all loving the jumper okay last jumper guys i swear but i mean it is winter obviously all we're wearing right now is chunky knits and this is another river island number and i am just so so obsessed so it's fairly cropped like i don't know if you can really tell um but on me i'm five foot and it comes kind of just below my belly button obviously if you are taller it will come up shorter and this is just such a cute chunky cable knit roll neck jumper i love how big the sleeves are i don't know if you can see that but they are huge which obviously i mean if you're having a meal i wouldn't recommend wearing it because it'll be like flapping about in your meal but for things like parties for just like cozy days i have been loving it again the roll neck is so now the roll neck on this one is a bit smaller than the stradivarius one but obviously it's like a nice size roll neck this is going to sound really weird but i <laughs> i don't really like big huge like up here roll necks i just find them a bit claustrophobic as someone who is a bit of a claustrophobe i just and someone who's quite small i find i have quite a small neck i just don't want to be like suffocated by my jumper so i always go for something that's just a bit looser around the neck so it keeps me nice and snugly warm but it still keeps me really cozy now i decided to put these things into the same category but they are technically slightly different things so this is a pair of leather leggings and this is a pair of coated leather jeans obviously they're not real leather they're vegan leather pleather whatever you want to call them um but i have been wearing these non-stop for winter start with the big chunky jumpers i just 
love the look now i find with leather leggings they're a lot better for like nights out if you're going out for a meal they're quite stretchy so you can eat a lot of food and with the coated jeans i find them a lot more flattering but not as comfortable so i tend to wear these if i'm going maybe on a night out or i'm not eating anything um stuff like that just because i really like how they look but i just don't find them comfortable at all around the waist they dig in I end up getting like lines on my legs from like the seams just because that's kind of the design of them. Um, whereas with the leggings, I find them a lot more comfortable. Then again, I find them a bit less flattering. So it's kind of give and take, which is why I put them in the same category because I definitely think they are a staple in your wardrobe depending on what you'd rather go for. Okay, let's talk boots. Now, it wouldn't be winter without a pair of chunky boots now, would it? So this is a pair from Topshop. I'm not gonna touch the bottom because I have literally been wearing these nonstop around London, everywhere. They're minging on the bottom and I ain't touching that. So <laughs> this is a pair of huge chunky Topshop boots. They're definitely like a Doc Martin kind of take, um, but I personally have never gone for a Doc Martin purely because of the wearing stage. I ain't got time for blisters. I ain't got time to wear them in. I want them to be comfy from the get-go and these are comfy from the get-go. I absolutely love how they look. I find they're really, really flattering. When I'm wearing the leather leggings, I think the juxtaposition of the tiny, like tight trousers against the huge boots just looks really cool. It gives an outfit a bit more of an edge if you're thinking something's maybe looking a bit girly, you're wanting to like toughen it up a bit. And my favorite thing about them, they've got the zips on the side so you don't have to lace yourself up every single time you put them on. Another pair of boots that you have seen me talking about non-stop is this River Island pair. I'm not gonna go on too long about them because you guys know how much I love them. They have this stunning D buckle on the, what's this called, the front, the, the bridge? No, it's not the bridge. On the top of your foot um, and it makes them look so designer. I get so many questions about whether they're Dior and they're literally from River Island so if you're looking for a pair of boots that look a lot more expensive than what they are, you need these in your life. And also, they're the most comfortable pair of boots I have ever owned. Now, I'm not much of a heel girl, and I know that these aren't the biggest of heel, but they do have a bit of a heel. And when you're five foot, you'll take what you're given. You'll take as much of a heel as you can. I'm not a heel girl, surprisingly enough, considering how small I am but I can stand in these all night. I think it's because of how well they hold your foot because they are quite tight around your foot. They hold you in so well and I think that's what makes them so comfortable. I've literally worn these to so many parties, so many events and you know what? everyone's taking their shoes off by the end of the night? I don't need to, I genuinely don't. I've been wearing these non-stop. <laughs> now a pair of boots that are just as gorgeous but not nearly as comfortable is this Topshop leather pair. They are the most stunning pair of boots I've ever owned, but they are the most uncomfortable boots I've ever owned. Alex calls them my Monica boots because you know when they're so gorgeous, but whoever designed these wanted to hurt feet. That's, that's literally these boots. They are so, so gorgeous, but they've hurt. I think I'm gonna try and invest in some insoles because it's mainly the bottom of my foot that hurts. So I don't know if it's just that I need something a bit more cushioned at the bottom. I might invest, I'll let you guys know if it helps, but they are so gorgeous that anywhere I go that involves sitting down, these are my first point of call. Now, a bag that I've had in my wardrobe for ages, but kind of forgot to bring it out for a while is this YSL, I think this is called the envelope bag, I might be wrong. I will link it down below so that you can shop it. But this is a bag that I bought second hand quite a while ago. And it's one of those where, especially in summer, I kind of just forget about it. It's not really much of a summer bag. It's not one you can just like throw on. It's not colorful or anything like that. But in winter, this is this baby's time to shine. I am so, so in love how the bag looks with monochrome outfits, with colorful outfits. It just completes the look so well. It is crossbody with this little chain so you can wear it over like your big fluffy coats, things like that. But it is also top handle, so I find evening top handle, day crossbody. And I'm just wearing this non-stop again. I have rediscovered my love for it and I'm bringing that crossbody wear down because I've not stopped wearing it and it means that it is a worthwhile investment. Okay guys, so that is everything that I wanted to show you today. Those are all the pieces that I have been reaching for on the daily that I cannot get enough of. I've been styling them up in so many different ways. 
as you guys will always see on my Instagram feed, that's always like the first point of call to see outfits, to see what I'm styling and see all of the fashion that's going on over there. So I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you come back next week. We've got loads of videos going up in the run up to Christmas. We've got all the festivities going on over here and I am loving it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.